Yeah, that's right. I mean, it comes to the party that way, but otherwise it's not. not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, that oh, is so, wait, wait. so oh, trippy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that is so freaky, man. Wait, 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 wait. So well, you, you and Einstein both were bothered by this. Yeah, I so am very bothered by this. Yeah. Wait, so you cannot measure the electron in its wave state to be a particle because the act of measuring it turns it into the particle. The way that we usually measure things, you say, where is it? And you get a little track in your particle detector because you keep asking where it is and you always get a definite answer to the question, where is it? But when you're not asking that question, it's spread out all over the place. Okay, that's, is that the lie or the truth? That's only the lie. Yeah, I haven't even gotten to the truth yet. Yeah, okay, okay now, t now give me the truth. Okay, when quantum mechanics came along in the 1920s, right. we realized that instead of an electron... Just wanted, let's celebrate. We are in the centennial... We're very close. ...of, this, of, the, of the discovery of quantum physics. Right. The quantum centennial year. decade. The quantum year, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the Next centennial year. decade. And, and that was a watershed decade where Hubble discovers that the Milky Way is not alone among galaxies in the universe, and he discovers the universe is expanding, and... I'm just saying, we got to tip our hat to the 1920s. Yeah, here, the Roaring Twenties. We live in in shame that we can't live up to that anymore. I know. We I feel think about bad, that all the time. Right? Right? Yeah, it was too bad. Okay. Yeah, well, I years mean, later. let's be honest. They weren't working with much to start with. <laughs> yeah, they, like you know, low you, hanging fruit. Yeah, low hanging. You guys are building on top of everything that they've actually discovered. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're building up to the truth here. So you realize in the 1920s that you thought the electron was a little particle. In fact, you should describe it in quantum mechanics by a wave function. If you ever took chemistry, if you ever saw those pictures of the orbitals of electrons, et cetera, that's the wave function of the electron. Mm -hmm. Soon thereafter, you realize, no, actually you should be doing field theory, quantum field theory. And so there's a field that the electron is a vibration in. And you're asking what really exists. Well, there's a wave function of that field. So there's like fieldiness on top of fieldiness. And finally, you say that, okay, what if you have like different fields, different particles? Do they each have a wave function? No. There is one wave function for the whole kit and caboodle of them, the wave function of the universe. That's what's real. The wave function of the universe is 